What's up guys, Jim Killing here back with another video and this time we're going to be talking about comic templates for your iPad. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Cheers. Little backstory here, I saw this post on Eric Canete Instagram and I asked him what templates are you using? And he replied me and sent me to this website, Artist Tech. So I just went there and discovered this great page where you can find brushes and comic templates and other stuff for your uh, your iPad or and also for Photoshop and other softwares. So yeah, I go directly for the Procreate version of the templates and yeah, they look great. They have uh, many sizes of pages. So I just downloaded the size page that I like and yeah I did a little investigation there have storyboards and also comic pages to work on so yeah looks great you can use layers on it and all the procreate stuff same on the other drawing softwares so yeah I start by the storyboard I have an idea for my upcoming comic book I mean the comic book I will be working on the future maybe 2022 and yeah start doodling around ideas I don't like to write my storyboards that much that's why I started like drawing the main ideas I have written on my on my sketchbook and and yeah you have spaces to put some notes and also to draw and you can organize all your stuff. I know you understand this. So the good thing is that when you have here a drawing done, as you are digital, you can cut the drawing. I will go with this full page image and go to the comic page setup. This is a single page. And yeah, here you have all the layers. You can turn on and off the divisions inside the page and you have an area where you can draw so there you put your pencils inks and stuff so it's all organized you can turn off some stuff on the page if you don't want to see that color part or the interior divisions the border lines I will keep the borders and I will turn off maybe I know it's a full page so I will turn off the page information and some part of the grid you can see you have grid options so it's really helpful and good to have them there and yeah the main guidelines but yeah I think I have set this up and now I will import the cut doodle I just draw on the other page here we go adjust the size I will trick this a little bit and yeah we're fine here we go looks good now I will like change the name these are pencils and now I will set the color to maybe a light blue so I will paint over it with a paint brush to set all this line work like in blue like you see the pros do on, when drawing comics so going down with the opacity and I can start adding the second like layer of pencil doodle over it so to add more details and stuff I think you got the idea oh, let me turn on <laughs> this layer great yeah I think you got the, the idea now I can work on the real canvas size and have fun adding details and make the page like work for me and for the story yeah great resolution on the page so far and 
yeah, I'm having fun adding details. But also, I want to show you that this software have a two-page setup, so you can draw on two pages at the same time. Maybe a double-page illustration or other things. So let me show you that. Here you have it. The same thing. You can turn on and off stuff. Double page setup. Really handful and useful when drawing comics. Maybe you want to draw in a double page setup all the pages. And you know what pages will be next to the other page. So yeah, let's go back to my storyboard and take this double page. Go here. Paste it down and do the same tricks so now i will i have the guidelines for the panels so i can adjust my doodle to that panel size that it's good so you can have like an order in your story in your comic book it will look like professional or maybe it will look like a normal comic book. You can do whatever you want with the panels, but since we have them, let's use them to, yeah, make it look better. So here we have the double page setup. Yeah. Now we can do the same. Turn all this stuff to blue. And I can start doing the second layer of doodling or maybe if I'm in the mood, I can directly ink this over with an inking tool. And yeah, I will not ink this page now. <laughs> I want to draw more of it. But yeah, artist tag comic book templates. Awesome. Can't wait to draw more on that storybook pages. Yeah. So guys, what do you think about it? I really think they are awesome and I will use it for the next comic I'll be working on hopefully next year I have to finish my actual comic first and also thanks to Eric to introduce me to these great tools and yeah I was looking for them for a long time on the internet trying to pick the right one and the one that has layers and all this stuff and these ones are great so yeah let me know what you think hope you like it and cheers have a nice day bye bye see you in the next one